I think this preseason is going to be very important for him. And um, yeah, no, it's I, you know it's, we we think he can be a good player, but you know we haven't really seen enough. And, sure. Uh, yeah, so I think this preseason will be good, good for him. And uh, yeah, he's he's a talented player, and um, I know that's that's uh, you know. The decision to draft him has been questioned by a number of people, but um, it's such an important position in our league that um, you know investing in yes. future assets at the quarterback position is well. I mean, look how they said the same thing when we drafted Aaron. First thing I thought when I saw that room where Mark Murphy was doing that podcast, can't hide money. Oh, God. That's that's what happens when you don't have an owner who is siphoning off funds for his or her super yacht. You can plunk down that kind of cash in that swanky conference room with the G logo hovering over the table. But that was Mark Murphy, the CEO of the team, talking about it. just It's awesome. It's awesome. Probably wasn't all that expensive, but it looks expensive. Yeah. Anyway, could they make uh, the it? Pre- could they get a room where there wasn't such an echo and we could hear things yeah, more clearly? Yeah, actually I mean, spend some money I on wasn't that. Quite sure what he said. <laughs> the preseason will be good for Jordan Love. Well, look, the Aaron Rodgers contract is very bad for Jordan Love because it makes yeah. it damn clear he's not going to start at any point during the first four years of his career. And when you look at what he's being paid. What motivation do the Packers have to trade him? He is cheaper than a veteran backup, and you just keep him around. And maybe you pick up the fifth-year option because maybe you make him the starter in year five. I just think it's unfortunate. This gets back to one of my crusades, Chris. Yeah, we know. Well, but you know what? This is the prime example of it. Because I remember last year when all this stuff was happening between the Packers and Aaron Rodgers, the only guy I felt bad for, the only guy who did not have a choice to be part of this dysfunctional relationship was Jordan Love, who got drafted into it. And now he's stuck year three behind Aaron Rodgers, year four, barring a trade, behind Aaron Rodgers. And what the hell? Why'd you take me? Why, why I'm a pawn in this broader game to get the most out of Aaron Rodgers. That's one of the reasons I don't like the draft. Jordan Love should have been able to say, hmm, there's 32 teams out there. I want to play football. Um, the, Packer, the Packers are interested in me? Hmm, nah, I'm not interested in the Packers. They got Aaron Rodgers. That's, see, people think that like the Cowboys would sign everybody if there was no draft. Do you think players who actually want to play football are going to fall for that? You think somebody's going to go? Oh, they got Dak Prescott. You think a quarterback's going to go to Dallas? No, right well, now, but that, that would be my thing. At some point, it's going to be what you don't want, where it's going to go. Wait, I wanted to go here, but I can't go there, so I have to go. Wait, well, now who's going to offer me the most money, and where am I going to go from there? And that that's you know, it's, at it's least gonna... you get to make your choice. Okay, I, I'd like to live in Pittsburgh, but there's not an opportunity there. Okay, well, I, I want to make the most money I can. Here's where the opportunity is. I want to play. I, I just want to play. That's my priority. I don't want to sit on the bench. I want to play. All right, I'll go to I'll go to uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders or whatever. I'm just throwing a team out there to make my point. I, Jordan Love, regardless of who's going to say yes to you, I don't think Jordan Love says yes to the Packers two years ago. No, he, he doesn't. I mean, I totally disagree with your crusade. I mean, totally. It's a it's perfect right. formula. Right. It's an honor and the and team that went from last to, to first went to the Super Bowl work. last year with the number one pick. And there's a lot of jobs in the world where you don't get to pick where you work. There's a lot of them. There's a whole lot. And we're this to add even this is not even like life or death. This is just the entertainment business called sports and football. So it's a little different to me. Doctors don't always get to choose the hospital they want to live, work at. Yes, yeah, they do. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, they don't. They don't. Well, not, if they don't not if they don't get an offer there. I mean, like if there's a doctor who was at the bottom of his med school class and flunked his boards 10 times, he's not going to go to the most prestigious hospital in the country, even if he wants to. It's going to be driven by merit. But you at least get to apply for jobs and choose jobs, and you have an array of options where you ultimately want to work. When I finished law school, I knew what city I wanted to live in, and I found a job there. It wasn't like, oh, you've been drafted to go to Seattle. So a- anyway, anyway. Yeah, get back is, to your point. My, my point is, and just don't assume that, I don't know that it's necessarily a good thing for football that you give a bad organization the first pick in the draft, and they make it to the Super Bowl two years later, and that's somehow some magical fix. Because far more often than not, the team that earns that high pick screws it up when they finally get it and fails to develop the player the way that they need to. But regardless, Jordan Love, he's caught behind 
Aaron Rodgers. The preseason is going to be important for him. Maybe that means the Packers will think about trading him or deciding what they're going to do with him. But they have him at very affordable salaries the next two years. They don't need to do anything. No, right. I mean, the preseason will be good for him. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You know what else is? Air is good, guys. You know, air oxygen is good, right? No, no crap the preseason is going to be good for him. I mean, he didn't barely play last preseason. And then he came in in a game against the Kansas City Chiefs where, I mean, if they just had any offense at all, they're going to win the game. So there's just there's so much unknown about Jordan Love. And you're right, it's really unfortunate for him. And I feel like you know, anything he does preseason-wise, anything like that, uh, it, it's to me it's it's not even about the future in Green Bay now. It's it's to me it's playing the preseason, try to put your best foot forward for your right to maybe be a trade asset a year or two from now, or just hoping that you get signed to be a backup somewhere else if this Aaron Rodgers saga continues in Green Bay, and you hope you get your chances somewhere else. That's where the preseason is going to be big for Jordan Love. Time and again, we make the point that a quarterback's first stop is so critical in how his career goes. And for Jordan Love, his first stop is in a spot where he can't get on to the field to develop his game. And that's unfortunate. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.